All right, let's talk about React render props. So I have a simple example here where I have a component called Big Brother. Um, it says by default, Big Brother's playing with nothing. As I mouse over this, it changes it. So what I'm doing is I'm watching for the, the mouse enter, exit, mouse move events, and I'm looking at the current uh, mouse position within this component, and I'm using that to change something in state. So as I move this back and forth, I'm getting different values. When I leave, it sets it back to nothing. Okay, so that's the basic functionality. Take a look inside the component. Uh, my app.js, which loads everything, calls on a parent element. The parent element, here it is. I'm loading the one that's going to be using the render props. Now I've got a little comment in here to you can use as a reference later. I will uh, post links to the code gists for parent, big brother, little sister, little brother, so you'll have these four components that you can experiment with later. Um, inside of big brother, this is the component that is currently rendering here. So this is big brother. It's the one that's got the mouse over effects. Now all I'm doing right now is I'm loading this component. Now a render prop which is what this video is about, is when we add something into here. So we add a prop. The prop is not just going to be a value, but it's going to be a function. And we're going to, inside of here, call this function and use it to render something. So I've got, now, the convention is, common practice is to call it render, like this. And there would be my function. I would put my function inside of here. We don't have to call it render, though what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a function called copycat, just like we have down here at the bottom. Copycat will be a function. We're going to pass into it something, and then it's going to run this arrow function, which will return components. As you can see down here, what I was doing is, or what we're going to be doing, is having a fragment that loads these other components. So we'll start with just one of them. I'll fragment. And inside of there, we'll just take this first one. So I've got another component called Little Sister. That's the one that I'm going to build here. And we can pass props into that if we want. So BG color is just a prop name that I made up to give it a color to render. That doesn't have to be, it can be just a string value like this, it doesn't have to be JavaScript. I also want to, now over here right now, we're rendering the little sister, but nothing's showing up here because we haven't told it what we want it to do. You can see in my example right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass a reference to Big Brother down to Little Sister. This is how we can have two components sitting on the stage and have them communicate back and forth, which is really what render props gives us the ability to do. So let's delve into these components a little bit further. Big Brother, look at that one. Inside of here, inside of the state for Big Brother, we have an array with two things. And you'll, if you remember what was on the screen, these are the two values that I'm writing out. I also have a property called current toy, which by default is set to null. Two methods, one for handling the mouse move, one for handling the mouse leave. When I mouse away, I'm changing current toy back to null. And as the mouse is moving over top of this big brother component, I'm looking at the client X. So the, the mouse position inside the component. If it's greater than 500 pixels, I'm setting this thing to Lego. If it's less than, I'm setting it to Play-Doh. So here, Play-Doh, Lego. That's the code that's running this. It's just these functions. If we go down and look inside, Big Brother is just a div with the on mouse move and on mouse leave. Those two events are calling these two functions right here. So these listeners for the mouse move and mouse leave events are going to call these functions. They will look at the current mouse position to change this or set current toy back to no. Oh. Now, inside of here, inside the div, I have a paragraph. Uh, I've got a style object that I'm using just to add some padding. And I'm writing out inside the paragraph, Big Brother is playing with, and then I'm looking to see 
What's the value of current toy? So up inside of state, let me minimize these so we can see it all on the screen at the same time. There we are. Current toy is null. So if current toy is null, then we're flipping this so it's true. The first part of the ternary, this is the true value. We're going to write out the, the word nothing. So if current toy is null, we're writing out nothing. Otherwise, we're going to write out whatever the value is inside of current toy. And inside of mouse move, we were setting it to one of those two values. Okay, so that's what we're doing right now. Lego, Play-Doh, mouse off. We also, if we go back to the parent, we had this function right here, copycat, where we're writing out this little, little sister component. Okay, let's take a look at that one. Inside of here, I have some style. I'm getting the BG color prop. That was that pink string that we passed in. So right here, little sister, we're passing in the string pink. This is going to be used inside of here. We're still not communicating between the big brother and little sister, but that's okay. We're taking the props with BG color. Then, right here, I'm looking for something called brother. Inside of props, we've got BG color, but I'm looking for another prop, brother. This is going to be our reference to the big brother component. Once we have a reference to this, I can ask for any of the state values that are inside there. So brother, inside of here, I'm going to write little sister wants to play with. And we're checking the current toy to see if it's null. If it's null, we're going to write out nothing. Otherwise, it's going to be inside of state the same thing, that current toy. So we're going to get a reference to Big Brother through this prop. So back up here, inside of Big Brother, we're going to call that method called copycat. So let's go back up to the parent. Inside of here, we want to add this. I'm creating a prop inside of Little Sister, which is going to be Brother. Brother is going to be whatever gets passed into this function. So Big Brother is going to have a method called Copycat inside of props. We can call this method and pass it anything that we want. I'm going to pass it something a reference to the state object inside of Big Brother. So Big Brother's state is going to be passed into this method. I'm going to call this function from inside of Big Brother and I'm going to give it the state from Big Brother. Now Little Sister has reference to this thing. So Little Sister is going to have the state from Big Brother that it can use. Back into Big Brother, looking for our copycat. So I'm going to uncomment this. Now, we're checking to see, was there a prop called copycat that was passed into brother? Yes. Okay, if there was, then we're going to call it. And remember, we can, we can pass anything that we want into here. You know, it could be any variable, any string. What I want to pass in is this.state. So I want this whole state object right here. I'm passing that into this copycat method. The copycat method was coming from the parent. So we'll go back up to the parent right here. There it is. Copycat is defined as this function right here. So we're calling this function. This function is going to return a fragment with this component inside of it. And we're passing our state from Big Brother over to the other component. Now, if we go back to the browser, here we have it. Here's Big Brother and Little Sister. And I can move my mouse around in and out. And because we passed the state from Big Brother down to Little Sister, it means that Little Sister now has access to the state of Big Brother. When I make a change to the state in Big Brother, Little Sister knows about it as well. And you can do this with as many components as you want. I have another component called little brother. The code inside here is almost the exact same as little sister. So both of these components are being rendered by this copycat method. Oh, 
Oops, sorry, we didn't import that. There we go. There. Now, little sister and little brother. Both of these components are being rendered by the copycat method being called inside of Big Brother. And all three of them are reacting to the same change of state inside of Big Brother. And this is what render props lets us do. It lets us create a component from inside of another component and pass information along. So I've got three, three things that are sitting here and they're all connected together because we used a render prop, which is a function that returns a React element and it calls it typically instead of implementing its own render logic. Now I'm calling copycat here. I'm rendering this. But if you look in Big Brother, I also have some of my own logic. So I didn't have to have all this stuff. I could just have a fragment in here so it's empty. But I'm going to be rendering all the other stuff right here. I'm calling my copycat method from inside of the stuff that I'm rendering. And I can now pass my state over to those other objects. So when my state changes, those other components get changed as well. And that is render props. So I hope that helps you out. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you found these useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.